what's that guy's name from Arrested Development? Uh, Tobias? I know it's not the most, like, attractive thing, but... Oh my gosh, hi! Oh my god, how are you? I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. Ah, oh, yeah, you doing good? Oh, that's good. Well, what are you doing for Halloween? It's the season, of course. Oh, you're not sure yet? Oh, and you're not even sure what you want to be. Hmm. Well, okay, first of all, first of all, do you have anywhere you need to be on Halloween? Okay, your new, your new partner is like sort of throwing me a big, a big sort of Halloween bash. Okay, yeah, that makes total sense. Bash, a Halloween bash. Do people say that anymore? That's a very interesting thing for you to say. Um, but anyway, the, would you want help then? Yeah, with your costume? Yeah, I can totally help. Well, I mean, I'm not very good with the actual costume, but I can definitely help you with your makeup or I could actually, we could probably do like a little trial run right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like figuring out something to paint like painting your face different things and those things uh you take that into account and then figure out from there yeah yeah i think that'll be really good okay so did you have anything in mind when it came to your costume no okay so blank slate it is okay well lucky for you i do have these four little drawings of, I mean, they're little egg, egg men probably, but um, they will operate as our blank canvases for your face. Uh, and from there, we can probably, uh, I can show you what I would do to your face and then I would do it. You'd pick one and then we would try that out. What do you say? Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so I'm thinking for the first one, do you want like my opinion? Okay, yeah, you, you don't have any ideas? Okay, cool. So I'm thinking for the first one, we could do something like, you could be, I don't know, I could paint a pumpkin in your on your face. It's not really a costume idea, but it is festive. You know, I'm thinking like, okay, let's see. If I do this, like, over here, I'm using this one. So I'm just putting some orange on it. Like that. Hold on. You'll get to see in a second, don't worry. Actually, let me just paint it all orange and then I'll shape it from there. So like, it is the season to be a pumpkin, right? So I'm thinking, here, and I'll use this pen here to show you what I'm trying to do here. Like that. And perhaps maybe a little bit of green here at the top, because so I'm thinking we could do something like that here. So right here, it's mostly just orange with a little bit of shading and green on the top. And then you could even, oh my God, we could even do your hair up in like a, a giant, I don't know, it kind of looks like a librarian's thing now, uh, like a really old school, like cartoon librarian. So we can even do like huge, put your hair up like this. I know it looks really silly, but trust me, it might be really good actually. Uh, but yeah, like if you don't want to commit to like a full costume, I'm thinking you could just paint a pumpkin on your face and then wear all black, right? And so that when it's really dark and it's really spooky, they just see the really uh, beautiful pumpkin. Okay, well, if you're not loving that idea, maybe the second one could be, 
something a little bit more subtle. So I'm thinking like we could do a vampire. That's a, like more of a costume idea, right? So maybe you could have like blood dripping down. You'd probably want some like sunken eyes, right? So like, you know, we could add, you know, I was thinking gray, but maybe even purple in the eyes would be really nice. You know, and then give you like really blood red cheeks. And maybe even like a dark, actually we could use the same purple for your lips. So actually this is not purple, that is brown. So if we use a little bit of purple here, like, <laughs> does this look like a vampire to you? This right here? Yeah, that's totally a vampire. No, it does not look like a sad clown. Okay, all right, well, the vampire, I think, would be a good approach. I, you know, I'm not an artist. I don't, these little drawings is just for you to get an idea, so don't roast me. Okay, so, what would be the next one? Oh, what if you wanted to do like the classic, you know, like a, like one of those sexy cats? You know, that would, that would be really simple, right? That would just be like, honestly, here, I'll do it for this one. You would just get like, like really winged liner, right? Because I guess cats have like really winged liner, I suppose. Um, but like a winged liner, we could color in your nose and then give you that little bit like paint right here. Uh, and then even like over here, right there, like just right, right there. Yeah, right there, yeah. So like, here, you can see this right here. Yeah, see, I feel like this is the most successful that it, <laughs> from these three. Uh, this is the, like, just sort of like a, a sexy cat lady, right? Or, you know, sexy. You could be like a sexy cat person, you know, it doesn't have to be gen, it doesn't have to have a gender specifically. So for this one, I think this one would be good, but do you want to be a little bit more unique? Do you want to like impress your new partner? I don't know, you are a little bit worried about that. That makes sense. I mean, like, you know, I love, love the cats, right? I mean, I love cats, but I don't know. I feel like you could do something else, right? So maybe, Maybe we do something a little bit crazy, okay? So hear me out. Actually, what color is this? Uh, let's use a different color here. here. What if we go something like a reference to like a really old show? What if we just... Here, hold on. Give me a second. I promise this will be worth it. Actually, I can't promise that. This might be uh, the worst thing in the world. But you know what? We're in this together. I'm here to make you the most fabulous Halloween makeup, okay? So I'm thinking we could really do you up in sort of like a glam look. But the catch is it's like... It's like you're like a blue man. You know, so you'd be like, um, what's that guy's name from Arrested Development? Uh, Tobias? I know it's not the most like attractive thing, but you would be really, um, you'd be really like putting yourself out there and you'd, inc you'd look like totally different from everybody around you. So what do you think? Do you want to be a pumpkin? Do you want to be a vampire that kind of looks like a sad clown? Do you want to be a cat? I guess a sexy cat. Or do you want to be a blue man? Okay. 
Okay, so you're shooting down the blue man idea. Okay, you know what? I understand. You're, you're going for the sexy cat. You know what? It's a classic for a reason. So why why try for something like different than that? And you know you don't need to worry about your partner like ju potentially judging you for being a sexy cat. Like that's that's insane. If they judge you, then you know what? That's on them and not on you. So just remember that, okay? So let's start with some foundation then. All right, I'm just gonna open up my palette here. This is my palette. Uh, and I'm just going to grab some of, I think this is your shade here in the hold on. It's over here. I'm just gonna swipe that out. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's, that's a good, that's a good. Yeah. Okay. So, actually, I need to really put put some of this on. You know, I think that like, you don't generally need foundation, but I like to put it on for like a Halloween look because it's sort of even if you cake it on, it ends up signaling to other people that you've maybe not put in effort, but you've at the very least put something on that makes it more costumey, I guess. Like people can read that you're putting on some form of costume and it's not just like an everyday makeup look, right? And of course foundation can be an everyday makeup look, but you understand what I'm saying, right? Like, yeah. Okay, so just. Yeah, just putting it all in there. Yeah, so let me just swipe it across your cheeks and then swipe it across your other cheeks and then on your chin here okay and then forehead and down your nose yeah we're just getting foundation everywhere right now it's totally fine okay and if you if you heard scratching that's just the ghosts in the walls don't worry about it so just there Yeah. All right. Okay, okay. Good, good, good. Oh, you're doing a very good job. Okay, actually. Okay, the foundation is going on well, but I am noticing that your hair is sort of getting on, getting in the way, so I'm just going to clip it back for you, okay? It's not a, not a big deal to get that out of the way so just actually here i'll use the end of this so i'm gonna part your hair right here like that yeah just okay perfect so then i can just grab just hang on, and then and clip all right perfect okay here's that other one okay so let me just grab a little bit of it right here and then I'm gonna go and clip like that and clip. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now that that's out of the way and we have your foundation in, for a sexy cat, I think, eyeshadow, no eyeshadow. Eyeshadow, right? I mean, like that, <laughs> that makes the most sense to me. Um, so let's use this thin brush. Uh, I know if, you might think that this thin brush would not really work for eyeshadow, but I actually find, I swear by this brush, trust me, okay? So I'm thinking, what do you think for a sexy cat? Do you want something, something glittery, right? Like, I don't know. I don't know. And maybe if you want to be like a, like a sexy, like black and white cat. We could do like black eyeshadow and then the eyeliner. I think that would make the most sense to me. What do you think? You agree? Okay, okay. And if you don't, just let me know, okay? 
So I'm just going to take a little bit of like the shimmery black that I have here. It's on this palette. And I'm just gonna, let me just close your eyes for me, please. Okay. Okay. shouldn't say nice and easy to do. No eyeliner is easy. You and I both know that. But eyeliner can be really, really good and easy if you just do one swoop. Okay? So let's just one swoop. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Yes, I know what I'm doing. Okay, so just... Okay. Then this side. Okay. Now I need to do from the bottom up to meet the winged eyeliner, okay? So just, okay, and then over here. Okay, perfect, perfect. So from there, I don't wanna fill it in with the eyeliner because the eyeliner can be pretty expensive. So a nice good tip is to actually fill it in with um, any form of like eyeshadow or any form of like a different product uh that's the same color right so that is ends up being a little bit cheaper so you you basically just mark it with the uh with the expensive liner but then you cover it up uh like the the insides with a different thing so i'm gonna use the same brush put it in now this is just like matte black okay and i'm just gonna okay just Getting that in there. Yeah. Okay. I'm just doing a little bit in here. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, how how is how is it with your new partner? Oh, you like made it official this month. Okay, yeah. So I can see why you're nervous. It can be really like a really big uh like thing to suddenly be in this like new relationship and like I can't imagine the stress you know but you need to also be enjoying yourself you know a new relationship is not just all stress you are enjoying yourself okay good okay good good yeah you should and you know this this like Halloween party it's gonna be great you know, you, you don't have to, you don't have to worry about it. It's all going to be great. Everybody loves you. All right. Okay. So I filled that in. So next we're going to have to do your nose. Now the issue with the nose is because it's so three dimensional, you know, we could do just like the triangle right here and exclude the nostrils like this one and this one, like right here and here okay but i wonder if that is like the right way to go about it you know because like a cat doesn't have well like some cats have dark dark noses don't they do you want like a pink nose or a dark nose what do you think we are going for a more like monochromatic look right adding pink would be a little bit strange okay 
you know what? You've convinced me. We're doing black. So we're going to do the same thing with the eyeliner. I'm just going to trace the shape of a cat's nose on top of your nose, okay? So let's just do that there and then just down. Okay. Oh, I messed up a little, but that's okay. You know what? That's totally fine. And then here. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm just going to... Uh, no, that's... Yeah, I need, to, I need to fill it in with the other thing. That's not that the surface area is just too big. You know, even for such a like beautiful nose as yourself, it's just you know sometimes you just gotta yeah, I just get that in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it at all? It's not. To, you're not getting tickled, okay? I sometimes when someone else has my makeup for me, it's just tickle galore. I cannot. Okay, so from there, let's then do um, your lips, right? We need to do this over here and then over here to mimic sort of that little, the like sideways three that cats end up having. So I think what we should do is actually, mm, okay, you know what? This little brain, it's, it's thinking. I think what we should do is use your the foundation that we picked out and just cover this part right here and this part right here so it would be right there for you okay and then just right there for you and then so it'll leave just a little bit of lip right here where the cupid's bow is and we'll just we'll i'm wondering if we should just put black there to indicate as if like you can see through what do you think so let's do that. So I'm gonna take, I keep closing the palette and then I'm just like, oh, I have to grab more. So, uh, okay, so let's get that foundation color of yours right here. Just... Okay, so from there, just right here, just doing a little circle on your lips here. You know, and I know the foundation might make you feel, um, make your lips dry, but we'll fix that in a second, okay? So don't even worry about it. Yeah, okay, okay. So then doing that, okay. And then with the eyeliner, just going in and just... Yeah, just... Okay, look, look that way for me. Hmm, look that way. a little bit more, you know, and perfect. Okay. So now I'm thinking, I'm thinking what we should do is with a little bit of pink, we should, this is lipstick. Okay. So we're just putting a little bit of lipstick on your bottom lip only. It's going to be pink. And here, hear me out. I'm thinking that doing that will highlight the difference between the two and make it really stand out. Okay, and so once we put that on this lipstick, we'll then put on chapstick and that chapstick lifesaver. Okay, so just pucker up for me, please. Look up. Yeah, and then just. Okay. Okay, just do a little bit more here. Yeah, okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, and those set. So from there, we're just going to grab a little bit of chapstick and just. There we go. Okay, just, oh, you probably shouldn't do that actually. Probably ruin it. Yeah, good, good thinking. You know, I wasn't thinking. You have got it in the bag though. So, um,. What else? Let me look at you. What else do we need to do for your Halloween makeup here? You, you're already looking. You're looking really good. Hmm. But you're right. Like your cheeks. There's just like a little. It's missing something. So I'm thinking. Thinking it's time for some blush. But I'm also thinking we don't want to go monochromatic with the blush because it's like a cat 
thing. So what I'm, it, you know, you're, you're being a cat. So maybe, maybe we put a little bit of blush and then go over top with like sort of tabby uh, markings. Yeah, I think that would be really good. So, well, but what color blush should we use? Okay, yeah, we stick with the classic, like sort of like a a nice sort of, I don't know, like a peach color or something. Yeah, okay, I think, you know what, you're right. Because if we do that and then we do the tabby markings over top, it'll look like, it'll look interesting at the very least. You know what, this is a test, so we may as well try something, right? So just grabbing some and, okay, just, okay, smile for me. Yeah, it's a big smile. exactly meet it's gonna look weird if it meets but you get you get what I'm saying you get what I'm saying going a bit more in the like see and I think that's what's gonna make it look really really interesting yeah. okay let me do the other side so just yeah. so what 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 prompted you to like want to be in this relationship he makes you feel special Well, I'm glad they make you feel that way. Yeah. No, that that is really special, actually. Okay. You know what? The more you talk about them, the more I like them. But if they if they do something to hurt you, then then they're gonna have to answer to me. I'm a I'm not exactly a fighter, but you know I I write a mean text message. So from there, I think that's it. You know, you're looking great. What do you think? You know, you can see yourself in the mirror. What do you think? You like it? Maybe the tabby markings are a bit much. Okay, yeah, I totally get that. But otherwise, I think it's really good. Yeah, okay. So let me just, let me just take, take these pins out of your hair here. So that's one. And just from here, just uh, take that out. Okay. Well, it's been it's been great. You know, and you know, if you want to wash your face off before you head out, I know it is. Well, the, the Halloween party is on Halloween Day, and this is obviously not Halloween quite yet. But if you want to keep if you want to keep it on, then. Be, you know, you are more than happy to, you know, yeah, we can, we can go out clubbing with you. Like, you look beautiful. <laughs> good, yeah. I'm glad you feel good. Okay. Well, I hope, I hope, let's have some fun then. Okay then.